Well, earlier I spoke to the BBC's Nishan Srivastava, who's in the town of Silchar in the south of Assam. Have a listen. We have been talking to a lot of people. We've been travelling in the villages where this uh, list has been out this morning only. Uh, it's, it's, it's just been uh, uh, this topic uh, out here in Assam. Uh, I am in the south of Assam, which also is very near to the border with Bangladesh. And there's just one conversation with everybody has been having since this morning, whether you have made it or not. So that's the kind of situation out here. We've been meeting families, we've been meeting Hindus, Muslims, people from all communities, and it appears four million people. Uh, I mean, everybody, uh, you know, in some way whatsoever has been affected. And there's a sense of despair because this was the second such exercise in, the, in uh, almost a year. And many of them are really feeling dejected that we, we just did our best to provide the best of documents we could to the government to prove that we have been Indian citizens. Uh, and it's been a sense of despair and disappointment when they found out this morning uh, that their names are not there on the list. How are people finding out? Where is this list coming out? So it's, it's a mammoth exercise. Uh, you know, uh, almost, uh, I mean, millions of people uh, waiting for this morning, 10 o'clock, for the list to be out. So the government had the uh, taken precautions, notified them in advance that the list will be out in several government offices in their areas, in their zones, in their regions. It has also been out on the mobile phones, on internet, on websites. Uh, so that there are various ways uh, how people have been queuing up and trying to know what their status is uh, all of a sudden. Uh, but yes, it's, uh, I, can, I can tell you that uh, in the rural areas there's been a sense of chaos and uh, you know, desperation uh, to find out uh, whether the names have been there in the list or not. Uh, to give you a small example, uh, we have been traveling uh, in the south area and the mobile networks have just been, been, they've just not been working since this morning because everybody is trying to go to a local mobile shop and requesting them, paying them a small amount to know whether their name figures in the list or not. That was the BBC's Nishan Srivastava reporting there from us.